Welcome to episode 1306, Tom Steyer, hedge fund billionaire turned politician, nine lessons. This is an outline of episode 1306, lesson one to five. This is lesson six to nine. Lesson one, billionaires versus billionaires. Here we have three. Do about this president. I'm Tom Steyer. And when those patriots wrote the Constitution here in Philadelphia, they just repelled an invading foreign power. So they created the Commander-in-Chief to protect us from enemy attack. So what did this president do? Nothing. The other presidential candidate was Michael Bloomberg. As we can see, he is very rich. Listen to how much did he spend on politics? Well, some said more than $120 million. Uh, I look up the sources. The LA Times says Tom Steyer spent $47 million in 84 days on presidential bid. And Mike Bloomberg spent more than $1 billion on four months. Wow. Lesson three are uh, two parts of his life. Part one, he was in business, either working or as owner from 1979 to 2012. The second part, he became a full-time politician from 2012 to the present. As in fall, he quit business, cold turkey. 30 years, and I loved it, and I love the people I was working with, and I love investing, but I really stopped cold turkey at the end of 2012. Lesson five, price gets washed out by growth. From my point of view, if you think about price and you think about growth, over 10 years, price gets washed out by growth. One so, more time, one more well, time. Well, if you think about how a company does over 10 years, whether it's 10 or 20% cheaper when you buy it is very relevant in the short term, but the longer you go, the more it is about how the company- So in six, we learn by doing. Finding the right causes to back. I think that you learn a lot by doing, and I think that what we've found over time is a lot better at what we're doing as a result of all the things that we did that weren't so smart. My understanding of the idea of philanthropy is real, because actually what we've tried to do is to set up operating enterprises in the real world that are hands-on to actually affect the kinds of things we're hoping for. Since seven, his hero is Warren Buffett. Buffett is measured in terms of some public stock picks, but also he says that he thinks his ability is to look 10 years out. Oh, well, he's also, got, how he's he's also got permanent okay, capital. Eric, that's what... That's an eight. His passion is climate change. If you look over the last couple of years, the majority of... We're asking candidates to come out with a plan to get us to 50% clean energy by 2030. Convincing people because everybody agrees that this is something we have to do together. The real point in terms of elections and getting people elected is for people to care about it a lot. As a nine, how to succeed. Insist on a strong culture, great values, and incredible outcomes. So I would say it's just as hard in the not-for-profit space to get great, out great outcomes as it is in the for-profit space. Because you've got to first have a strategy that makes sense. That's true in both places. And then you've got to execute the heck out of it. And that means having great leadership. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.